Hello friends, it's Candence and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking all about piercing etiquette. Now, I tried filming this video in the past, but basically my reaction went terribly the first time. I, I have no idea how to react to YouTube videos, but so for this one, um, instead of a reaction to it, it's going to be just straight up commentary. I'm going to play you a little clip and then comment on it at the end just to add a little bit of perspective of a real life situation. But at the beginning of this video, I'm just gonna go into basics of piercing etiquette. And if you're interested in piercings or tattoos or body mods or anything like that, uh, please subscribe. Also, I do stuff about hair, like I bleach my hair. Whenever I do that, I film it and I share it. Um, so just subscribe if you like anything like that. I do mostly piercing stuff, but I like to dabble in other things that make me happy also. So just don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you'd like to see next and let's just hop right into this video. So when you go into a piercing place, there's a few things you should know right off the bat. First thing you should do is see if your piercer only takes appointments. If you go to a piercer without an appointment, but they don't take walk-ins then guess what you won't end up with the piercing that day it's important to know ahead of time how your piercer operates so basically when you're going to get a piercing double check to make sure that your piercer does take walk-ins that way you don't inconvenience them and that way you know they'll have time to help you out the next thing you're going to want to be courteous about is bringing friends now normally most piercers would probably be just fine with you bringing one friend one friend. Now, it might be a different scenario if you're having, say if you have three friends and you're all getting piercings together, that might be fine. But you don't wanna go in with a posse of like five or six friends and you're all the, in there screaming and making a lot of noise. You're distracting other clients. You're distracting the people getting tattooed. You're just causing a ruckus. You don't wanna go into a place of business and just make a lot of noise. So it's smart to just bring one, maybe two friends. I, I would keep it to one. Ideally, you'd all be getting piercings together anyways. So don't bring a large posse when you're going to get a piercing. Another thing to mention about bringing friends, especially during the current state of the world, we all know about Kanona, right? Uh, it's extra important for those things that I just mentioned about bringing friends and appointments. Some piercers are only accepting appointments just because of the world right now. And some piercers don't accept any friends going in. I know my piercer, I think the only way you're allowed to bring a friend in is I think if you're both getting piercings. And I think the other way is if you're getting any nipple or genital piercings, I think you're allowed to bring a partner or a friend with you. And those are the only circumstances. And I think that's just for comfort. A lot of places right now are really limiting how many people they're letting in. Hopefully that changes. Hopefully eventually we'll all be back to normal and we won't have to make appointments for everything. But for now, it's very important to be courteous about these things. You don't want to be a rude client. Uh, I don't think you want to be a rude customer anywhere you go. At least I try not to be. So after you have all that, the next thing you want to make sure you do at your appointment is bring your ID. Bring identification. Check the piercer's website or call ahead and make sure you're going to be bringing all the materials they need to pierce you. And yes, at least where I live, and I'm assuming every reputable place, they're always going to ask for your ID. Even if you've been there a hundred times. My piercer, my piercer still asks for my ID every time, even when they're just changing jewelry. Every single time they touch your body, they need your ID, they need a record of the transaction and a record of what happens. That's why they ask for it. Just because they have it on record from a previous experience, they still need an up-to-date and current ID. Especially nowadays when most places are only taking appointments, I think personally, I mean mistakes happen, but it's very rude to come in for an appointment and then you don't have the proper materials to get the piercing. So now, this piercer has blocked off 15 or 30 minutes to help you out and then they can't even help you out and they probably don't really have a way to fill your appointment since I'm assuming you came on time and it's already that time of day. So definitely make sure you're bringing all the materials you need. It'll be 
better off for you and your piercer and help everything run smoother and help you get the piercing that you've been wanting. Now, one of the last things to consider when you're talking about being courteous while getting a piercing is your demeanor. Now, I get it. Most people haven't gotten over a dozen piercings in their life. Most people, their only memory of a piercing doesn't exist because they got their piercings when they were a baby. So I can get it. It can be intimidating. On the other hand of that, you want to remember that your piercer pierces people every single day. While that doesn't diminish your concerns as a person who is about to get stabbed in the ear, it also means that getting a piercing isn't really a big deal. Now, even if you're nervous, that's fine. It's fine to be nervous, but it's one thing to be nervous and apprehensive about getting the piercing, and it's another thing to freak out. And that's what I'm gonna react to. I'm reacting to Gabby Hanna getting some piercings because I remember watching these videos in the past, and with her being such a hot topic right now, I figured maybe I could just dive back in and do a little reaction, you know, use her name a little bit, you know how it goes but anyway I figured it would be a perfect example of what's a little bit too over dramatic and I could point out the things that maybe you shouldn't do and what might be the line of what not to cross when you're getting a piercing you got to remember your piercer has been piercing people all day every day and it really isn't a big deal you'll be just fine I figured I'd watch a couple of Gabby Hanna's older videos where she brought us along to her getting a piercing just because I remember her being extremely overdramatic and I figured I could use her as an example to say how not to act when you're getting a piercing because it's rude and just not necessary. <laughs> Let them play. I'll just pretend to watch him play this over and over again. It doesn't matter. I'm horrified right now. I asked him if he thought that I would look ugly with a nose piercing and he said yeah, but I said let's do it anyways. <laughs> Great, that's <good. laughs> Just kidding, that didn't happen. I don't know where to put it though, I'm nervous. Cause I'm gonna pierce it with a stud, even though I want the hoop, because I feel like if I get it in the hoop, I'll freak out and rip it out of my face. And be like, what's on my face? So we're gonna start small. I don't know what I'm doing with my leg. Chances of you freaking out are pretty high. I think so too. Okay. What would you do this? Pretty steady. Do I have boogies? Uh, no, I'm good. I don't have any boogies. Yeah. So you're gonna do pretty steady, don't hold your breath, try and relax. Okay. So I'm gonna put this little tube up your nose. It's not gonna hurt at all. Let's get your hands away because you seem like a grabber. Breathe steady, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna put this little tube up your nose, okay? Mm hmm This isn't a thing? This, this is not gonna hurt. No. Okay, cool. So it's just going up here. And then you're gonna feel a little tension on the outside, okay? Oh wait, what would you want when? I know she's talking a lot. I feel like the talking is perfectly acceptable. You know, everyone copes with their stresses a little bit differently. And if you're just talking to your piercer, that's perfectly fine. What I end up having a problem with is this. Oh, okay. Just making sure. I'm gonna take off my flip flops. Go for it. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna ask you when you're ready to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do this. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. I should take this off. I can't breathe. Feel <laughs> <laughs> uh, better. I feel so much better. I feel alive. Breathe steady. Okay. Wait. Give me the pain meter. Uh, three out of ten. And look, I got nothing in my hand. How long does it hurt? A couple seconds. A couple days or a couple seconds. seconds. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the tube up here like this. Mm -hmm. then I'm gonna go in from the outside like this. I'm gonna feel that. And then I'm gonna put the jewelry through after the needle. Okay. Wait, why do I have such a double chin right now? I'm stressed. <laughs> Pretty steady. It's gonna be okay. I'm the readiest and steadiest I've ever been. So ready. All right. So I'm just gonna put this little tube up here, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna feel a little pinch from the outside. Mm -hmm. So just breathe steady. Okay. Wait. Come on. Okay. Does it feel? Oh, wait. Hold on. Ah. <laughs> this is not bad. I know, it's totally fine, I'm just joking. It's all for the vlog. You're gonna love this. So that's up to you right now. Mm hmm mm hmm feel a little pinch, okay? Mm hmm I feel it. Ah! <laughs> oh, no! Okay. okay. Let's do this. This is gonna be the one. This is gonna be the one, okay? Mm -hmm. It's okay. So I'm just gonna put this tube in your nose. There you go. Can you, do you have any anesthetic? <laughs> Breathe steady, okay? Mm hmm I'm breathing so steady. I'm just gonna put my hands here. Ah. I'm scared. Wait, I'm shaking so hard. <laughs> Wait, why am I being such a little baby? I can't handle it. Your eyes are water, but it's not gonna be. My eyes are already watering. Are you steady? I'm just gonna put this in here. Okay. I'm gonna feel a little pinch. Mm -hmm. I move. feel the pinch. You don't. <laughs> just don't move for me, okay? You're gonna feel a little pinch on this guy just right now. <laughs> Ow! Now, I understand some people can be very scared. Like I was just saying, it's scary. You're about to get stabbed or whatever. But if you watch the clip that I just played here, um, there's literally 
no reason for her to be acting like this. She keeps pushing the piercer away. The, per the piercer has a lot of patience with her. Now I know she's being a little bit extra probably for the vlog or whatever. Um, it looks like it might be after hours or something because I don't see anyone else in the studio with her. But regardless, she keeps pushing him away each time. She does this like at least three times, like maybe three or five times she pushes him away and she stalls this piercing for so long. You know how long a piercing takes? Wipe it, mark it, check it, okay? Maybe move the dot, I don't know. Then you come back in, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna do this, and then whatever. And then you do it and you do it. But now he's stuck explaining multiple times what he's doing. He literally puts his implements down to explain the entire process, walk her through the entire process with no implements in his hand. And then she's still freaking out. And it's like, he's doing everything he can to accommodate you. If you want the service done, try to relax. If, if you want it done, it'll be easier if you just get it over with. Trust me, I get anxiety anxiety I get anxiety too but there's no reason to just like push the piercer away they're trying to pierce you and if you didn't push them away that first time if you didn't push them away that first time guess what you would have the piercing already you'd be able to get go home but now you have to push them away three four times take your flip-flops off whatever the heck you're doing there's no reason for it you could just get it over with if you just let the piercer do their job talk yourself through it cope with it however you can just relax. They walked you through it. They're gonna walk you through it. If your piercer seems to be a little bit more quiet, be like, can you please walk me through exactly what you're gonna do before you actually have the stuff? I'm sure a good piercer would be more than happy, just like he was, to explain thoroughly what's gonna happen, to put your mind at ease. That way you know exactly when things are gonna happen and you don't just suddenly get surprised by a needle. It might be a little bit harsh. I tend to be pretty harsh, but it's one thing to be nervous, but it's another thing to waste people's time. Like I was saying with the appointments, if you're doing that with every piercing, say you book two piercings at once uh, and they give you 30 minutes of a time slot, but you keep pushing the piercer away and it took, takes five minutes for each piercing and you're, you keep pushing the piercer away, you're just putting them back. This is their job. They're trying to get a job done. And sure, it shouldn't be so clinical and stuff like that. But it is also, imagine if you were trying to help someone at the grocery store, say you work at a grocery store, if you're trying to help someone and every time you try to give them an answer, they just go like, oh my gosh, I gotta go over here. Like, I know they probably wouldn't do that. I keep giving crazy analogies today, but it would be annoying. You're just trying to give the answer so you can go back to your other job or help the next customer in line or whatever. But you just keep turning away for some reason and not paying attention. Just be there, relax, tell them you're nervous. Uh, I'm sure they will be able to help you. So in this next video, I'll show you some clips. Look how many friends I brought for moral support and also to hold the I'm only here for content, hi. <laughs> when I texted Zane, because I didn't know who was gonna come with me, I knew Zane would come because I knew if anything, you would get content. Oh yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> Gabby's so scared right now. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Perfect. Look, it's perfect. Breathe, 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 stay still. I hate this. You got this, dude, you got this. Get out of my nostrils, thing! Get out of my what? It's gonna do a zoom in like an edit where they zoom into my nose, it's like a world. Is it done? No. What? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, fucking cut, what the fuck? You did it on my oh, I guess. You did it on Next round, make sure you get that shot. I got you. <laughs> In. That little clip is a great example of why you should be leaving friends at home. They just instigate the loudness, they instigate rowdiness, um, they distract from the piercer, from the piercings, they just prolong the process. It's just a recipe for no bueno. Uh, it's hard when you're reacting to YouTubers doing things for YouTube because obviously this was done for a vlog. It looks like the shop is closed this time. She even managed to ask the guy to turn off the music because last time it was playing copyrighted music. Um, I think this one it's off. But you can see she brings the whole squad or whatever. She brings a whole bunch of people. And I guess it can be excused for her vlog in her specific instance but this clearly illustrates why you shouldn't bring a whole bunch of people now i'm sure if the piercing studio was open at that time they probably wouldn't have been quite as loud as they were quite as like rowdy and obnoxious and yelling and whatever but it clearly illustrates that 
being with a lot of people, they're a lot louder than Gabby was being in the first clip. So just the extra people is not a lot. And also what I forgot to mention is filming. If your piercer doesn't want you to film, don't film. This piercer is clearly okay with it, but um, obviously if you're a vlogger or something, you should be asking ahead of time. Even if you're just a regular person who wants to commemorate it, it's rude to film someone at work. Ask them some piercing places have a no filming policy and that's their choice and you should respect that so just keep in mind you might not be allowed to film call ahead of time if you want a place that you can film you might have to go lower your tier of piercing studios for that i don't know maybe your piercer is different everyone's different i don't know and then i think in this one she's a little bit worse about the screaming if you're not getting the piercing there's no reason for you to scream i don't know i I'm just like, if you want the piercing, relax, let her do it. You got your nostril pierced. You already know how it goes. It shouldn't be this big of a deal. Yeah. 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 Cry. 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 Do it for the clip, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Fuck. What do you put the jewelry in? It hurts so much. You're so happy, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's other people getting tattoos, other people getting piercings. There might be a seven-year-old getting their first earlobe piercings and they're excited and then they hear you shrieking in the back because you're getting a piercing and you haven't even been pierced yet. It's just unnecessary screaming in any environment is a little outrageous. I understand if you're scared, but if you're that scared to where you're screaming just from an alcohol swab, maybe you should... Uh, build a tolerance to your fears a little bit more find some other way to cope that's not screaming before you show up to the appointment and then the last thing i thought was weird about this experience um that i can show little clips of i guess is that she gets up after every single piercing a fucking cut what the fuck <laughs> look it's good thing. oh it's so cute <laughs> What? Did you just hear him whisper? Oh, it's so good. You both your most relaxing friends. <laughs> Why am I acting like I'm the first person to ever get near piercing? Don't move. That's what I'm saying. Three, steady. Come back, come. Uh, Don't go anywhere. Something you did at the end there was the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. You? you did tell me. All right, so we have two nine. Yeah, We're gonna do a third. Yeah. Now I'm not sure if this was for the vlog or if she literally like got up in the middle of the procedure to like look in the mirror or whatever. But in the piercing places that I've gone to, if you get multiples. Um, they mark you for the multiples. You look, see if it's okay, move anything you want to move, approve it, um, and then they just pierce you. There's no laying down, screaming, oh my gosh, nervous, getting pierced, getting up, looking. Then you got to lay back down and do it all over again. It's one after the other. Obviously, they're taking little breaks. They're setting up for each one separately, separate needles, separate directions. Oh, take a deep breath in and breathe out. Deep breath in and breathe out. But you don't get up after each piercing. And maybe she wasn't sure if she was going to get every single one of them. But either way, don't expect this to be an accurate representation of how a piercing might go with you. Again, with the piercer's time, time is money, and it's also a waste of your time to be getting up in between every single piercing. If you already approve the markings and you trust the piercer, which I assume you trust your piercers, you just let them pierce you. You're marking, you're already laying down, you're already in the right position, they already have all their stuff, they're already leaning over you. Just let them pierce you all at once. Like, I don't know, I don't know why she keeps getting up after every single one. So that's just weird to me personally. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you think I missed anything in regards to piercing etiquette. Maybe I can try to redo this video. I don't know if this video sucks. Hopefully it's better than my last one where I was so scattered. 
Oh my god, that video was terrible. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe down below. Let me know anything you'd like to see next. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at CandenceL. You can send me DMs uh, featuring your ears or something, anything you might want to want me to react to if you want me to curate your ear or whatever the case is. Uh, go ahead and follow me there and send me a DM and let me know what you want from me I'd be I'd be really excited to do that But I would really like to do some like ear curating and just like designing an ear to however I want Whatever the case is anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. See you in the next one. Bye Oh my gosh I wore this hoodie for the last video and it's the summertime and I was like dang it's hot and I was like I gotta take this off for the next video but then I sat down to film and I was like uh, I'm already sitting so I did this whole video with the hoodie again and it's freaking hot in here and I'm melting in front of this ring light